Welcome back to Made Simple. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a weighted moving average. But before we begin, please subscribe, smash that like button. I would really appreciate that. Please and thank you. All right, so for today's example, let's just say that we sell a product. Say we sell, um, I mean, in the past we've used socks, water balls. Let's, let's just go with water balls. For each month, here are the amount of water bottles we've sold, and we're gonna calculate the weighted average. Weighted moving averages are really good at helping you analyze trends in data, and that trend analysis helps you better forecast uh, sales in the future. Before we can calculate our weighted average, we need to set up some criteria um, for our weighted average. When calculating for a weighted moving average, this criteria, basically what you need to do is determine how heavy you want each of these, each data set to be weighed when you're calculating the average. All right, so in this column, let's do the weight that we're gonna apply, and then this one, we'll, we'll divide the weight by periods or by month. So let's say that we wanna do a three month moving average. So we're gonna use the previous three months as our periods. So we're gonna have three months ago, two months ago, and then we're gonna have last, last month. So now we need to assign a weight to this, and this is kind of what you determine, um, and then we need to do a, a total, a total of the weight. So for this total, basically what we need to do for this weight is these three weights need to equal our total. So let's say we want to make our total, and you can just choose a random number here. Let's say we want to make our total out of 20. So these three need to equal 20. So let's say, and so when doing this weight criteria, there's some things you need to consider. So for example, for month three, we're probably gonna want that to be weighed less than last month's data because that was three months ago or maybe that was two years ago, right? So it's less relevant today, especially when you're going in higher time periods. You know, if say this was three years, two years, and one year, you know, the weight of data three years ago is probably a lot less relevant than the data of last year. All right, with that in mind, let's say for month three, we want a weight of, let's just say three. All right, and then for month two months ago, let's say the weight for that is going to be seven. So then um, our weight for last month must be 10. Um, and this all needs to equal 20, right? All right, so now we can do the weighted moving average. Um, but we said we were gonna do it for the last three months. So we can't include the last, the first three months because we need data in order to start a three month moving average, right? So what we're gonna do is then a couple of calculations, we're gonna put in parentheses last month times the weight we had for last month, and we're gonna lock that so we can drag our formula down after we finish it, plus two months ago, and we gotta put that in parentheses, times the weight we associated for two months ago, um, and lock that as well, plus that first month or three months ago times the weight we associated with that. And then we need to put this whole equation in parentheses, and then we will divide by our total weight we had chosen. And before we drag that down, we also need to lock this and then we'll go ahead and drag that and here we have our weighted moving average for the th or there are three month weighted moving average so you could stick this on a graph somewhere um and kind of analyze you know maybe you stick this on a line graph and label and title this but you can kind of see a trend forming um and that can help you forecast future months and as you can see, obviously it's not gonna be an exact match to what the actual month's data is, but it might give you a good idea of what you can predict or forecast 
for sales in future months. And you can do this with in, in any way. You know, this criteria here, you don't need to use 20 as your total. You can use anything. You could use more months, but you basically just follow the same formula in order to get your weighted moving average. All right, if you have any questions, please leave a comment, subscribe, smash that like button. I would really appreciate that. Please and thank you and have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.